What's going on, Quad Squad? It's your favorite vloggers here, Iris and Harmony. We had a little situation uh, this week, and we're driving to Anchorage. So, uh, about a week ago, actually on St. Patrick's Day, um, our car notified us that we had a low tire. First time I've ever seen that um, alert symbol on my on our car, actually. We went to the shop, filled it up, identified which tire it was, because the our uh, the car on our app, it's kind of messed up with the location of the tires. It's actually incorrect. But we figured out which one it was, filled it up. Then, um, five days later, we go back to drive after the, after our weekend, and the same warning sy sy uh, symbol is on the dashboard again. We check it out, same tire is low again. In one week's time, we had to inflate the same tire two times, so I'm just like, oh my gosh, so what does this mean that we have a tire leaking air or what? I called our dealership. Um, they scheduled an appointment for us, and then uh, I got a call back from the service lead, he said, and he wanted us to come in as soon as possible to get it checked out because he was saying, driving with a leaking tire is not safe, especially because we live out here um, in a super rural location. Uh, so we're gonna have to drive five hours today just to inspect a leaking tire. And this, my friends, are the downsides of living in an ultra rural area. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and get that checked out today and we'll let you guys know what's up. Comment below with any of your guys' leaking tire stories. Beautiful day here in Alaska. In South Central Alaska. Yeah, so yesterday we had a blizzard. Um, we got crazy amounts of snow. I knew they would have it cleared up by today. So uh, grateful for the weather today, for the driving conditions, but check out all this snow on the highway, guys crazy blizzard yesterday we must have got what like two feet of snow yesterday or something in seward i'm sure in the past it was even like more five. i mean look at all these feet of snow on the side of the road i heard in the past it was uh, supposed to be like 20 feet yeah it's a lot currently we've got a snow plow clearing the roads we'll have to pass him in a second here Also, due to the blizzard, there is a very high risk of avalanches today, um, and they're also doing avalanche mitigation along the highway. So we probably will have a bit of a delay on our trip here. Um, they said delays could be up to 45 minutes long while they do avalanche mitigation. I got lots of... Uh Department of Transportation workers clearing up the roads. Well, good thing I was vlogging today because uh, we just had to call roadside assistance. Um, <laughs> we made it to Moose Pass, Alaska, which is about 30 minutes out of Seward. And our um, the same light came on again already. <sighs> And I felt like I could feel the car was like the tires were off. And as soon as I felt that, that that's when the sign came on. We just were reaching into Moose Pass. We just pulled over and uh, we got out of the car. The car was, the tire was super low. I checked the PSI. It literally said 10, which is flat. Oh my gosh. And then I could, we could hear the air literally spilling out of her tire. We're going to drop a clip of, the, of that video here. Oh, you took one? Yes. Nice. And it's like a gash actually in the tire. A so, gash? So whatever we, as we were driving, it must have popped out because it's a hole. Mm. You'll see it in the video. Currently our tire is going flat. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's somewhere back here. So we had something punctured it. Harmony's on the phone with the service provider now.
That's oh crazy. my gosh, this is crazy. We already it is crazy. We knew it, and I'm so glad Harmony followed her intuition. Mm -hmm. Um, with the service engine light that came on, and then uh, we talked to the service provider. Oh my gosh, the technician lead on the Toyota. He definitely uh, made us feel more adamant about getting down there ASAP, and I'm so glad we did. The roadside assistance is currently on the way. We need to locate our spare tire. Their arrival time is two hours. We might actually just figure out how to change the thing ourselves by then. We'll see. <laughs> this is where we're at with it. What else could it be? Okay, so um, the triple A person is actually gonna be here really soon. He got here way quicker than expected, which is exciting and awesome. Um, luckily, we had just actually purchased roadside assistance two months ago. Yeah. So this worked out perfectly. I'm really glad that we did that. I knew it was the right thing to do to, to repurchase our Toyota care thing. But ironically, we actually finally got to clear out our trunk to access the spare tire, <laughs> which we've been needing to do for like two years now. So here's our clean trunk. There's always a pro. There's always a positive side to every problem. <laughs> So we just got our tire put on. This man's gonna get his chocks out. Came out, it actually wasn't two hour wait, so that worked out perfectly. But that's a nice little donut there. We got a rim on there. The roof. I can't believe it, guys. Uh, <laughs> so we're on our spare tire now. Um, we could have done it ourselves, but by the time we were getting ready to start, the guy was already there. And I don't remember if I said this or not, but I just actually resubscribed to our Toyota Care plan two months ago. So perfect timing on that. Our whole trunk is now in our back seat, so <laughs> that's why it looks so cluttered back there. Yeah. But um, yeah, here we go, guys. On our way to the dealership, finally on our Woo. spare tire. <laughs> At least now we don't have to worry about the leak, the thing leaking out throughout the week. So because we would have had a flat come morning time, or even by the end of work day. Oh man. That would have really... Glad we're getting this taken care of. Yeah. What a day. What a day. <laughs> Guy came from Soldatna to come help us out. Super nice. Great service. His name was Ken. Yep. By the way, I wanted to mention this. The reason... So I, so I could tell that the tire was flat, right? And I was telling Iris to pull over because something didn't feel right. The signal came on. And I'm like, oh, Iris, pull over because we're in Moose Pass. Moose Pass is like the one stop that you have on the highway before the service cuts out for like, I don't even know, like 80 miles or something, like right. till Girdwood. Um, and I was like, I, uh, I think you should pull over, we should check the tire. But he, I know I already explained this, but this is the part is that um, right at that point to turn off in a moose pass, there was like an oversized load passing right at that point literally pushed us into the turnoff because iris was like oh no we need to get to anchorage we can't turn off right now we're going too fast stuff like this she couldn't see it yeah I the oversized it. load yeah. literally pulled the traffic off the road in both directions which i want to say i have never encountered that before that's never happened to me exactly then an oversized load kicked off the whole traffic on the whole road that doesn't even make sense which no one does that this yeah. To, go ahead. So it's like at the exact point where we needed to turn off because because I couldn't see because that was, so was a flat burns. that was a flat place with service and we were about to lose service and be on the highway for like 80 miles. So it was just I just want to say thank you. Thank you, God. We're grateful. Oh, my it's just God. so ironic. I just have to say. <laughs> hey, they don't tell you about the truth. Uh, they just wanna be.
to the dealership free temporary fix of the tire um however we are getting new tires we're gonna head back on monday i'm gonna hold off on posting this vlog till we get that footage so i can show you guys our new tires um yeah we filled up at the stores we got some uh bunch of groceries four hundred dollars worth of groceries lots of goodies to last us a few months probably some good organic products lots of goods so pretty excited about that and now we're gonna go to wendy's <laughs> get us some nuggets okay guys so when we're in anchorage is the one time that we can eat this unhealthy fast food since we don't have any where we live and this looks ultra messy I had this when we came back from the airport like a few weeks ago or whatever and I never had it before it was super good I hate to admit it but I woke up from a dream about it so I had to get it again oh my gosh this is terrible to admit but this is the pretzel bacon pub burger chicken so i got the i get the classic second time i've got it now the classic uh chicken pub bacon or pretzel burger let's see if it's as good as the last one i have mm. mom something about it i'm telling you i don't know what they put in here they had me dreaming about this burger. That's sad. It's so good, guys. The pretzel bun, and they put like this cheese sauce on there. I know it's so terrible for you, I'm sure of it. But, oh man, it tastes so good. Oh my gosh, look, they put like Munster cheese on there or something. Mmm, Munster. Jalapenos. I don't like bacon usually because I know it's terrible for you but at this rate I think a lot everything on here is terrible for you so <laughs> this is good though mm. man guys I'm sorry <laughs> mm. that is so good it's pretty pricey for a fast food burger it's like eight bucks i think right mm -hmm. but man it's worth it <laughs> i'm selling it selling it out of this thing but it's good man mm. oh my god look at that chicken they put on there that's some significant chicken have you guys tried this burger before? If so, what do you think? What are your thoughts on Wendy's? Let me know. What do you guys order from Wendy's? I mean, I can have a little bite of no. your chicken sandwich. No. I was dreaming about this burger. It's not fair. I'm sorry. Do you guys uh, dip your fries in a Frosty? Mm. Wendy's does it good, I'm telling you. Wendy's does it good. I don't know what it is. So That's the truth. They've got the thick fries. The fries taste like natural for some reason. And you dip them in the frosty. No other fast food place has the frosty. Mm. Okay, guys. <clears throat> also, sweet and sour sauce. Lifetime favorite, childhood favorite. Then, what you do is you dip your nuggets. Wendy's has the best nuggets, hands down, definitely. Way better 
than McDonald's. I'm sorry, it's just true. You dip your nugget in the sweet and sour, then ooh, you dip it in the frosty. Mm. You get a tangy taste, sweet and chocolate with the chicken. Mm. It's so good. Okay, I'm gonna be nice, I'm gonna let Iris try it. But mind you, she's already had a bunch of her burgers so it might not taste as good to her. So let me Here see. Here we go. Good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you're not like dying. That must good though. Right? The chicken is like juicy and thick. I had the bacon, I had the cheeseburger one last time. The, what is it? Pub burger. And chick the classic chicken is the best. Classic chicken pub burger. Mm. It's good, guys. Good. I just want to know, what are they putting in here that I'm literally dreaming about this burger? Like... Mmm. It's so good. <laughs> Break for $14. You can get a, a salad. How's 
salad. And I got the two shrimp tacos. And I got a half bacon chicken sandwich. Got the honey mustard. <laughs> Look at that perfect timing. Perfect timing. Combo is Conlon looking as good or Tree looking as bad. If he doesn't do something fast. Just waiting on our Uber to pick us up now to bring us back to the dealership. We got a Thai boba tea and some mini nibbler cookies from this little shop in there. Mrs. Groves. We got this because it smelled so good. We could smell her making it or something. Oh my gosh, so delicious. It's really good. Large Thai bubble tea. It's super good. Mm -hmm. Fire. <laughs> Bomb. I think this might be my favorite Thai iced tea I've ever had. Because you know what I like about it? It's good. It's not overly sweet. I hate overly sweet stuff. This I is like really it good. really sweet. Okay, we got the new tires on here. So, got some better tread on there, as you can see from what we had before. Is there out the trunk, please? Hand sanitizer? Yeah, please. Money every week, no chest Stay down from the beginning, the best love. I only care about you for the rest of Can I put you out of bed with the best of them? I said I'm pipe going by from the pressure. I'm way too gone for you to catch up. I said these niggas aggravating like bed bugs. I can feel the energy that fake love. I can't fake kick it with you, no wrestler. We get a lot of new friends on the check call. By the way, today I realized I have two outfits. I have a work outfit and I have a non-work outfit. My work outfit is Carhartts and Extra Tufts. My little Extra Tufts. Extra Tufts slip-on boots, ankle boots. And then uh, a work shirt. And my non-work outfit is Puma athletic pants and a t-shirt one of 20 or 30 t-shirts, whichever one I feel like. And the same, extra tough ankle boots. Free on the tech call. He talking cat money, shit, but won't bet none. And I hate to calm down on the Tesla. Never slipping, I went around with a wet bar. Nigga talking about some shit that I been done. How these niggas out on birth, I got 10 sons. But they don't tell you that part. They don't tell you about the truth. They don't tell you about the truth. They just want to feed you lies. They gon' tell you about the truth. They don't tell. They just want to I've been trying to do it better, ayy, but it seems like I can't do it. I had a bad dream about somebody dying, then a nigga seen it. I won't even be with nigga no more, I think I'm going vegan. I never had shit growing up, so that gave me a reason to go extra hard. God gon' bless the boy, it don't matter if I'm down, I won't flare with God. I tell my bitch I run this shit. On the head and charge. They don't tell you about the good I did. They forget that part. Yeah. They don't tell you about the truth. Nah. They just wanna feed you lies. Yeah. They gon' tell you about the truth. They don't They just wanna feed you
This has been a high-res entertainment production.